Hey, how you doing, brother? How you doing, man? Welcome to Living Life Fast, man. What's happening? Thanks for coming down, man. So, uh, Honda S2000? Yes, Obviously, sir. not quite stock, is it? It's got like different wings <laughs> and body kits. And... Yeah, yeah, I had it about five years now. Um, focused on making a kind of clean exterior using uh, kind of OEM parts in Japan. Right. Um, you're looking at spoon front wings, um, ASM rear fenders, okay. ASM bonnet. Uh, kept the OEM front end with the CR US lip, okay. uh, carbon side diffusers. Um, so without fail, like one of the best looking S2000 I've seen, man. Uh, trying to trying to eat my humble pie, uh, <laughs> but I would say I would say top top three, hopefully top three in the country. Yeah. Um, in terms of how clean it is, I want to build a race engine, uh, Redliner 11K, okay. uh, maybe 350 brake course. That's for next year. Right. But at the moment, just got simple breathing modifications, and I focused on the. The suspension setup really it handles it handles quite nice actually. Okay, what have you done with suspension then? I uh, got Olin coilovers on there, and it's been set up by a company called Center Gravity. Right. Uh, they know their stuff when it comes to kind of setting up a car properly. Well, how is it set up? Track, fast road, or? Um, more towards track. When you drive it, you'll notice the, the suspension is quite firm. It's been corner weighted as well. Okay. Um, and with the the tires that I have as well, it's uh, it's, yeah, it's quite handy around so the bend. These bends. cars they like 50-50 balance from factory, I think. Yeah, yeah, Neutral, exactly. Right. But when you're kind of chopping and changing parts up, you, you can throw it off a bit. Right. Uh, so mine's kind of been yeah, reset all, to that. Yeah, 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 I get that. Yeah. Um, so engine mode, you're saying it's basically stock, yeah? Only breathing mods. What's that, induction? Bre yeah, so uh, intake, uh, manifold, straight through exhaust to the back. Yeah. Uh, got an NVIDIA Q300 and uh, remapped it. So it's running about uh, 250. Okay. Uh, so what are these in stock for? Because there's a few versions of the S2000 or? Yeah, yeah. So... The, the Japanese S2000, I think that pushes out slightly more power. Yeah. In the States, you've got the AP2, which, which has a 2.2 litre, uh, but I've just got the standard UK engine. Right. Uh, so the standard standard form, they're about 239. Okay. Uh, so mine's a little bit little bit more than that. The rev to just under 9K? 9K, yeah, 9K, basically 9K, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, sounds, uh. sounds like a super bike when you're hitting 9K with this <laughs> exhaust, it's nice. And um, what is the weight of the car? Uh, this car is about 1200 kilograms. Oh wow, so it's light. Yeah. yeah. What, what is it like on the rear end? Like, you know, as in like, uh, is it snappy or is it <laughs> nice and smooth or? When, well, when I fitted these wider wheels and uh, Yokohama Advan and knee over tires, yeah. it's a lot more stable. Whereas when I had it stock, I, I found it a bit uh, snappy in the rear end. Okay, and um, have you owned any rear wheel drive cars before this? This is actually my first rear, rear wheel drive car one, yeah. uh, that I've owned. I've driven quite a few, Yeah. but I've driven front wheel drive Hondas my whole life. So this was like a huge learning curve coming into it. Right. And what are these ones? They look really beautiful as well, man. Yeah, they're Nkai RPF ones. Uh, a lot of people in the Honda scene like these wheels. And I just thought it works with the, the, the kind of exterior setup they have. Uh, they don't come in, in black, I had to paint them. Yeah. Um, they come in uh, kind of satin black, but I think the gloss black looks satin actually because of, of all the dirt. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they look, they look really nice, man. These wings are interesting because if you look at the new Astons, they've got a similar arch gap. Oh, oh yes, you're right, yeah, yeah, but, the um, but DB11. Yeah, yeah, but Spoon in Japan were doing it 10 years ago. That's <laughs> how you're doing it, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, and rear wing you got there as well. Yeah, so I, I, I really like the Mugen style rear wing, but they don't make it in carbon. Right. Uh, so I got this by from a company called Sieben, um, painted it half and half. So it's painted underneath and the top top part's got the carbon exposed, similar yeah. to the Porsche GT3, GT3 wings and right. um, custom risers. I think it sits a lot nicer at that height. The original arch has been cut uh, to make space for the for the chunkier wheels and tires. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, this has been bolted in. Um, looks nice, man. It looks really, really nice. I wanted the same seats that come in the NSX Type R, okay. um, but they're very expensive because they're made out of Kevlar. But these ones are made by Recaro USA, so it's the same seat essentially, but it's not made out of Kevlar. Okay. So, yeah, seats from Recaro USA. I've got a few bits to retrim the door cards, uh, the center tunnel armrest, yeah. uh, titanium gear knob. The steering wheel is like the centerpiece uh, of the interior. It's made by a company called Euro Boutique. Right. Um, they make wheels for like high-end luxury cars, uh, exotics, Ferraris, Lambos. Um, so that's carbon on there as well. Carbon. Yeah, yeah, Car carbon and Alcantara on the sides, and it's got a custom flat bottom right. with a red center center stripe. So that's made to kind of my specification. I've got a custom um, Apple CarPlay set up because these cars don't come with the screen. So how have you managed that? What's that? Had to cut a hole in the dash, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, because some of these S2000s came with the optional extra uh, sat nav, okay. so you can buy the outside exterior bezel, a bit of bezel, however you right, say that. Right, right, right. And then uh, we found a screen that managed to fit uh, in front of the uh, heating vents, and yeah, it, it works. And where the original uh, single din radio was, I fitted a set of gauges in there. Okay. So it's got a nice little. Sweet. 
it's behind the flap. So when you open the flap, you can see the gauges. And if you don't want to see them, you can close it. You done anything with braking? At the moment, stock brakes. Stock uh, brakes. Yeah. yeah, stock brakes. But because because I haven't really done anything major to the engine, yeah. so okay. I just I just rolled with stock brakes. But sometimes when I'm driving it, I do feel like I need uh, I need a bit more stopping power. Yeah. So it's definitely on the on the cards next year with the with the engine upgrade. Uh, most definitely they'll be going on. Now you definitely need to come back if you do that engine upgrade, man. Uh, in the UK, no one's done that. Um, a few people have done it in the States. Mm. Uh, but the thing is, with, with an engine like that, it's just high maintenance, so it's, it's risky. It's much easier to just uh, strap cool. on a bit of boost and get easy power like that. But yeah. I want to keep the NA power delivery like Honda intended. Um, so it'll be an interesting project for sure, man. Yeah. All right, man, should we jump out, take a spin? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. So this is, uh, it's a, like you say, it's a little project car, yeah? Yeah. How, how regularly do you drive it? Uh, I'm, I'm normally out of the country quite a lot, so it doesn't get driven too often. I'd say like once a month. Once a month, yeah. Yeah. And uh, how long have you owned it? About, about five, six years now. It's pretty handy around the track. Yeah, uh, I was going to say the handling and the highlights of this, isn't it? Yeah, the chassis is the, kind of the centerpiece of the car. Um, around the track, uh, you get cars that pass you in the streets, but then in the corners you'll pass them. Yeah, because you can brake late R and... Yeah, exactly. Like, things, yeah. Isn't it? I mean, it's, it's quite a lightweight car as it is. 1200 um, kilos. Yeah, 1200, yeah, yeah. Very light, that is. Turbochargers, superchargers in their cars, and 
they're, they're all about the straight line but me personally I get a kick out of the corners yes. I know people say Hondas ain't got no torque here but it's like you gotta work for it because obviously the power's in the top end yeah, so nah, it does feel like it's lacking torque definitely but like you say that's the, uh, it's the character of the car isn't it it's enjoyable man yeah the, car, the car's got a lot of character <laughs> That's an optional extra on some of the later models. Should we just swap over or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sound like you got like an American kind of... You reckon? Yeah, yeah. I'm working on my American accent actually um, for like um, pilot seasons coming up. So a lot of the shows in the States. Right. So I'm working on it. But I'm from East London, bro. <laughs> okay. You know Type what? Japanese gearboxes are no joke. You know that? Any Japanese car I get into, the gearbox is solid. I'd say... I'd so mechanical and so firm. No bullshit. Um, how do I turn the hazards though? Yeah, yeah, you got, you got to find that one. <laughs> oh, look at this mirror, it's mad, isn't it? It's like compared to the cars I've been in. Love, man, the gearbox feels lovely, you know that? The tight shift. All the gen cars, totally different to new cars, man. You can feel everything, right? Yeah, this, oh, I'm actually driving a car right now, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no electrics in play. <laughs> Nothing, it's raw, man. Yeah, and if you mess very, up, you mess up, man. <laughs> very low to the ground, is it, as well? Yeah, yeah, your butt's on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this wheel is definitely... Uh, reacting a little more than I'd like it to. It's like really nimble, isn't it? Yeah, yeah on these roads for, for sure. It's, it's, not, not, it's, yeah. not, it's not nice on these roads, but on yeah. track it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, when 
this car, at the moment I'm paying about 1500 1500 yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's only because I've got everything declared. Uh, I like that peace of mind, not that 10 years ago when you're 17. Well, I think that I'm going to end the video there because I know you need to shoot off in a sec as well. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, yeah, I really appreciate for coming down and letting me take it for a drive as well, man. No, I appreciate that, bro. Um, guys, as always, Pleasure. if you did enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.